it's a 50-50 affair. The noise is going to be incredible here. What a it's round here. And Smith now Jamin Ed is hurt. Yeah, Jamin's hurt here. Philip Smith nailed him with that right hand. Oh, oh good that's shot. What he does with that right hand. And Dio Juba flat on his back. Oh, oh big oh, shot. Lovely right hand from Riakpo. Right on cue. Richard Riakpo delivers. Stop that count. Dreams are made of, but he has made it real. June 15th, Selhurst Park, CBS, Richard Riakpo. This is a fight that could be pay per view. Mm. And it's not. It's not pay per view. Huh? We haven't had a bad show. Wait, wait, slow down, Drake. <laughs> You're doing a really good job of selling this. Tell them, Dan. Ryan Garcia shocks the world. <laughs> He's Allegedly. become the Joker. He is the Joker. It was almost a robbery. Because one, yeah, of, the, yeah, one, 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 one of the judges side. gave it a draw. draw it was yeah, almost it was robbery. robbery. I just want to, you know, get in there with the heart out. Ooh. Lauren Ooh. Price actually has the same idol as you. Michael Jackson. Oh, well, there, well, Mouthpiece, the home of unfiltered boxing. Yes, people, welcome back to Mouthpiece. I am Savage Dan. I am Mouse Ferron. There is no time for football today because the announcement that I said was coming is here. June 15th, Selhurst Park, CBS, Richard Riakpo. <laughs> you, no, you don't need any, you don't need <laughs> the connecting words. You are yeah, that is it. CBS Riakpo 2, we have it. This time it is for the WBO world championship of the world um listen stadium fights not many people get to experience them yeah cbs has had one before yeah and he beat lawrence acoli in, in his stadium right in That's his stadium the vitality the vitality okay yeah cool. former fifteen thousand cool. there um so he has the experience of stadium fighting fights. in a stadium however this one is not his it's not and that's the difference. They, he's got a lot of London fans now that's, that's going to be on him. Obviously, a lot of Bournemouth fans will come up and travel with him. Yeah. He's got a big support. But yeah, it's going to be something different. What's the capacity? I think it's like 30,000. I think it's more than that. Is it? I'm not sure what we're going to set up for. Around that. But I'm just Listen, saying in general, around that, around It's 30K. June 15th big, big in big London, big. in Selhurst Park. I can't think, <sighs> I, I can already see what that day feels like. <laughs> like that day is going to be one of those days that, that you remember for the rest of the year because it was just like, you're just, you're at the races all day. day. Facts. Sun is Facts. beaming. Beautiful day, beautiful you watch, month. You watch the sun go down as the undercard. It, trust me, it's <laughs> special. I have never done it's it. It's not you a know. joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> um, having said that, I will do all the calls to action right now. These tickets are going to go on pre-sale April 29th. Then they will be available. General sale May the 1st. Be there or be square. I'm serious. This one is going to go off. <laughs> We've so only serious. announced it's top so of the serious. bill. And last time when I said to you guys that there's going to be a stacked undercard, I delivered. You did. And we delivered. You did. You did. Yeah. That was a wicked undercard. What a card. What a card. And I'm just saying again, it's going to be a crazy undercard. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. I can't give you much more than that right now. But just buy your tickets and thank me later. And thank you to everybody that thanked me for the last one for <laughs> Fraser Clark <laughs> taking all the plaudits that's not fair man but anyway um, the main event's big in, in look, itself though, let's, let's have a look at it because um, we have seen it before it was years and years ago at the O2 yeah. it was a super close competitive fight it was could have gone either way it could have gone either could've way gone but either it went way. Richard, Reac uh, Richard Riappo's way and it's kind of ironic that he's the one without a loss in his record he obviously won that fight mm -hmm. But Chris Bill and Smith is the one that went on to win a world title before him. Mm -hmm. And it's just quite romantic that he has to defend it mm -hmm. against the one person that's got a win over him. Mm -hmm. How does that fight play out? What changes have they both made to their careers? Where have they developed? Are they still the same? Do they revert back to form? Do we get something similar or are they completely different beasts now? I don't think you get anything similar. I don't think it's going to be competitive. I think it's going to be like a competitive fight. I don't think anybody's going to blow like getting them out early rounds or et cetera, et cetera. But I'm gonna give CBS his credit because he's 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 defending his title. He's been through the fire. And he had to he had to go look, he won it by stoppage. Yeah. But there were hairy moments in that fight. Oh of course there was hairy moments. But yeah, because up until the even 
the, what, you got him out like the sixth round or I, something. I, like? I think he six. He hurt him to the body. Yeah, I think he broke a rib. But it, it was uh, uh, there was a time it was looking like oh he might lose this fight. It, yeah, as in look, I expect that at at the top level, there are very few Mayweathers where it's like you look like from round one to round twelve you're gonna win that, that you're like you're gonna win the fight. Usually there is a back and forth and there's moments in it. It's just about who can go to the well, turn the screw, mm. and CBS is like the king of that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like every time it does get a little bit tough, he digs he deep. finds something. He finds something. And I'm not saying you could do that forever, but I'm saying every time that's been asked of him, he's found it. Even against Richard Riappel, because yeah. Richard wipes people out. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. He lands shots and people wake up in their corners. Not CBS. CBS is the one person that, that's, that, 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 that stood up to his power. Mm -hmm. So we but, have an interest in, and that's why, and that's why I say, like, like you said, so he did stand up to his power. Now that he's gone off and he's defended his world titles, and like you said, he had to turn the screw and find that that extra, the extra um, gear, gear, yeah, level, gear, gear, something, yeah, gear yeah. yards that levels within that fight. Now he's going to bring that experience into this to this second fight that we could arguably say that Richard hasn't really because he's blown, he's blown a, a no, opponents away. No, here's the thing. I, I would say, as far as a change, there is a much bigger change in Richard Riappor from that fight than there is from Chris Billum Smith. I think. I think so. Yeah, because I think Riappor was was in wars early doors. All his domestic fights were quite similar to the CBS fight, mm. where they were a war of attrition. He had to pass a gut check, show power, show heart, and he did it every time. Mm. He has now found a smarter way to win fights. Um. And sometimes he doesn't even let his hands go until it's absolutely ripe. So yeah. he's a bit more, he's more patient. More calculated. More it? calculated, perhaps more dangerous because then he can just still throw the right hand and just end it like mm. he did last time out and like he does most times most out. Most fights, yeah. Um, so I definitely see a bigger change in Richard than I do in CBS. CBS is the, maybe the, the man version of what he already was. Okay, yeah, he's evolved. Yeah, he's, gone extra level. he's gone from Pikachu to Raju. <laughs> whereas, whereas Riappo has actually changed a bit, and he will still obviously carry the same ferocious power. Yeah, but he doesn't necessarily go to the well now. Yeah, but that's a, yeah now. But at this fight, I think he's gonna have to go. I think he's, have to. he's gonna have to go to the well. Yeah. and what I'm saying, right, CBS might slightly edge it because he's gone to the well when he's had to defend his title. And he was expected to win that fight. Mm -hmm. He was he was the he was the favourite. Like you said before, they fought before, it was very close. And they both got data on each other. They both, like you say, they both got the data on each other. Data. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. It's very close. It's I'm, a not, close I'm, fight. I'm not saying CBS is gonna win, but like you said, I just think he's he's evolved a, just a bit more, he's matured a bit more in that ring. Do you know the the most beautiful thing about this fight as well? Which I haven't said, but you'll probably know. This isn't this is a fight that could be pay per view. Mm -hmm. And it's not. It's not pay per view. Huh? This is free to air. You can watch if you've got Sky. You can watch this. For CBS yes. rap. Yeah. Two. Um. So free. It, yes. You're doing a really good job of selling this. But yes, no, that's is. good. No, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. No, but that's that's yeah, a pay per view fight. Yeah. You have to turn on your TV Especially and watch it. Especially when you when you wow listen to what's coming when wow. you, when you hear the whispers on what's coming on the undercard as well. Oh good God. You'll be like okay, oh, God, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, it's a very good fight. Um. When I spoke to Akoli last week, he made CBS the slight favorite, but only based off kind of his win over Akoli, to be fair. Okay. Um, uh, which is probably- Is that a bit biased? Because he beat me, I feel like he's- No, but as in like he shows he, he, he's, he's got what it takes. You should make him a favorite. However, you can't, you can't make any mistakes against Riappo because he, he, he punches is, he, yeah, he yeah, is yeah. such a, a, a big puncher. Yeah, yeah. So I guess, we're, we're still um, quite a way out. I know what you do. As he gets closer to the fight, you make an insane um, judgment on what you think is going to happen Which and who's going to win. You do it. You, yeah, you wait till fight week and you just throw something out there. Yeah. I'm, it's too early now, man. I, to see I it. to am going to sit on the fence like I always do. Yes, you Until are. then, Good. I like them both. I think Rich is the more dangerous of the two. Definitely. 
Is that down um, to his power, or do you just yeah, of think course, of course, it's down to his power. Because yeah, CBS has got power as well. Yes, he has got that. power. No, he does have power as well. He has big. So power. this is yeah. this is the interest. They do both they have both a lot of power. power. Yes. So I'm not sure if I see this. It's, it's annoying because the first fight did go 12 rounds. I'm not sure if this one does. Ooh. I think I think they've both seen enough now. Mm. I can't. But I think we could be starting with round 13 and not round one. Wow. <laughs> I think they. I, I don't. Back, back that's the it. Front. <laughs> I think. I think we're just gonna get landing shots. They're gonna pick off where they. They're gonna pick up where they left off. Yeah, yeah. Last time, throw bombs. Richard, I think will start. Maybe the more calculated, and yeah. then but as soon as soon as CBS maybe land something that is significant. I that's reckon he bangs wake, his gloves together he wakes and up. says, "Let's have it. Let's have it." Yeah. Um, interesting fight. Very interesting. Um, stay locked to that. Um, because there is more to follow and you will start hearing news on this undercard God, very, very, very soon. I'm excited. Before I then, we have May 11th, Cardiff, Jessica <laughs> McCaskill and Lauren Price. Um, Lauren all. Price actually has the same idol as you. Michael Jackson. Oh, well, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, Thierry Henry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is, she's a born winner, isn't it? I forgot you're such a Michael Jackson fan. Yeah, man. One on. of the greatest as well. He is the greatest. One of the greatest. The greatest. One off. One off. But yeah, that, that says it all then. If she loves Tierra and he's a winner. He was a serial winner, born she, winner. Yeah, Just yeah. like her. She's won everything. He's won everything. Yeah. So it's, it's more than understandable. Made of, was it made a 11th? Made a 11th. It's going to be a good fight. I was watching an interview. Uh, what's it, her opponent today? Yeah. She was saying that she knows this. She knows that Lauren's coming to fight. And she said, she obviously said this is her toughest fight up till now but she doesn't see herself losing and she's backing herself she's got a lot it's a of weird confidence one. It's, I find it I find it funny and I love that, that she says it's the toughest fight today because she's fought some tough, tough fights tough fights yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think probably in terms of momentum it, pro it might actually be her toughest fight yeah, Lauren course. Price is horrible I wouldn't. I. I listen. Say, I've got say all your the. Quote, say your quote. I love when you a say horrible it. night's work. work. <laughs> a horrible night's work. Honestly, I just. You know, like I've got height, weight, reach on her, and I don't. I wouldn't fancy it. This you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, just yeah. she's just she is that type of fighter. Um, two weeks to go. Boxes. Uh, website is where you can find tickets. Boxer. dot com. Um, she, she, probably she, might all be gone by time this comes out. Maybe if anyway, not. Anyway, if, if, if you if you want to get there. Make sure you buy them tickets now. And mm -hmm. again, thank me later. We haven't had a bad show. Wait, wait slow down, Drake. <laughs> you keep saying this. He's right? in a war of his own right now. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. Drake is in a war of his own. Oh, thank me later. What's this thank um, me later stuff? Hubie Fury is back on that card. Now, that's a name we haven't heard for quite some wow. time, but he was back out this week, just gone. <laughs> and he fought uh, Dobroshenko, I think. Uh, I think I've got that name right. Mm -hmm. And he is the opponent who Jamie TKV lost for. And he's a tough strong cookie mm -hmm. um, Huey Fury got uh, a points win and now he's trying to kind of revamp his career, his career. yeah mm. because look everyone's known the name Huey Fury and he's been oh, wow. obviously closely um, tied with with his with his cousin mm -hmm. um, Tyson Fury um, I think people always expected big things and expected him to really kick on at some point but then obviously um Injuries, whatever it is, have hampered him. He's back, and two fights in a few weeks is always a good indicator yeah, yeah, of you yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. be really back, you know. And a fit fighter, uh, a fighter that is fighting often is often a happy fighter. And inactivity kills fighters oh, in this 100%. day and age. In twenty twenty four, inactivity will kills kill you. fighters. Hundred percent. Um, so it'll be interesting to see him back. We've obviously got a a, a top undercard for for um Cardiff as well. A lot of local Welsh talent, and. Trust me when I say Welsh fighters, I remember it from way back. They're always fit. I don't know how and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but they've got, of, they've got a lot of hills though. I think that's what it they've is. They've got a lot of hills. When you're an amateur and you, you think, oh, all right, cool, you get drawn against someone, you're, you're fighting this person. It's like you fight someone from the army. Yeah, you're going to have to be fit. Yeah, yeah of you course. You fight someone from Wales, you're going to have to be, be fit. fit. They've got nothing but valleys. Yeah, valleys, boom, hills. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. They're super, super, super fit. Now um, you said that Joe Kozaki had a good engine on him as well, you know. An incredible yeah, engine. He did, you know. Of course he did. He did, he did. Yeah. Welsh, Welsh. Man. Uh, Gareth Bell. Welsh. Uh, Ramsey. Engines. Engines. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Engines. You're right, you're right. 
Um, full undercard is now out for that, and it's a top undercard. But let's let's talk about what happened this weekend just gone. Very quickly. Let's touch on it. Ryan Garcia shocks the world. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, no, he but he did it. Moon. And do you know what? Obviously, social media is a big thing nowadays, and he big has thing. a huge social media following. Of course he does. Um, some of his behavior leading up to the fight it was questionable. Led a lot of people to believe he's not even concentrating on a fight. Like, is there a fight happening? When I saw him on the white horse, when I saw him doing that, the, 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 yeah, the singing, the dancing, the press conferences. It makes you think he's just here for, maybe he's, he's, he's not locked in. Yeah, he's here for vibes. He's here for vibes. Even when I saw him in the, the dressing room with Mike Tyson before the fight, and he was like, Mike, I'm with you. Everywhere you go, Mike, I'm with, with you. you. I just thought, this guy's not, Dad, he's not here to fight. He, but he fought. Even the pr even the pressers and the weigh-in, he went there with a beer. It wasn't a real beer. I know, but just the perception yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe care. it was. We don't know. He's Allegedly. become the Joker. He is the Joker. He's the Joker of boxing right now. And what he done, he pulled the wall over everyone's eyes. Everyone was like, okay, cool. Devin Haney is all about, he's, He's all to the book. I'm, on a, I'm, I'm training hard. I want to get this job done. I'm thinking about being one of the greats. It's, it's bigger than, than Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia was just doing all this. Not yep. Everything else other than boxing. And the way... Would you say it was a destruction? By the end of it. Oh, By the end of it, he stung him early doors. I, I, sorry. We, was, we touched on it last week. Is this a... Is this an upset or was this a... Um, when we was talking about last... It was almost a robbery. Because one, yeah, of, the, yeah, one, one, of, one of the judges gave it a draw. draw it was yeah, almost a robbery. robbery. This is an upset. De definitely upset. It's an upset. Mm. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's not It's not as big of an upset as people think when you look at it closely. Because they fought six times. Yeah, amateurs. As in, he, like, Garcia's not an influencer. He just has the following of yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what um, a lot of people think. So it was an upset in the sense of it looked like Devin Haney is now locked in. He's got some very good wins, even though some of them are dubious, but mm. his win against uh, Pro Gray, his win against Lomachenko, L Lomachenko is th uh, his Teofimo Lopez. They're all Teofimo nah, Lopez? Yeah, you're talking about the guy from Australia. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. That's how you got the They're not boxer fighters. Anyway, they, um, those wins made people have to take him very, very seriously and you know, all of a sudden, the talk was, is it Tank or is it Haney? The and Styles. And and that was the argument. That was the argument. That was Ryan the argument. Garcia has just come and ripped up the script. He's just destroyed it. And, and and what made the argument just a bit more stronger was when he beat Regis Progre, the way he beat him. But like you said, he dropped him. He dropped him, dominated. but he leaves his head on the line. You said it last time. He yeah. does, he's does. he got poor footwork. Yeah. He's poor. So he made him look better than he is. Yeah. But what, what, what Fing doesn't have, just touching it quickly, reason why I don't think he'd be one of the best of all time is Devin Haney. He doesn't have punching power. Yeah. Skillful, but he doesn't have punching power. I think he's the better boxer than Ryan Garcia, personally. But yeah, what, of course he is, yeah. But Ryan Garcia, but oh Ryan got God, th This is man. the thing. This is a sport where you... It's a punching sport. Let's have it right. Mm. Yeah, you can't kick. You can't, you can't <laughs> do a tombstone Grapples. or a pedigree. It's a punching sport. Yeah. So if you can punch hard, already you're at an, an advantage. advantage. Mm -hmm. Ryan Garcia can obviously punch very hard and harder than... And he's got speed. He, he came in three pounds overweight, paid his 1.5 million, million or whatever. He just said, yeah, whatever's whatever. <laughs> Boom. And he came in and he performed in a way that I just did not think he could perform. Um, and I, I think it puts everyone on red alert mm. and it lets everybody know, stop taking people lightly. Yes. And I think that's a warning to, you know what? If Like they say, if you're clever, you learn from your mistakes. But if you're a genius, you learn from other people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, it's, I just made it up. That's a good saying. I just made it up. That's a good saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's one of those ones where everyone else now who's got a fight coming up and maybe is slightly overlooking. Frank Garcia. Everyone, wh whoever it is. I'm talking. He said he wants to I'm go I'm talking, up. this applies, this applies to Lawrence Ocoli going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, going, going to Poland. Poland, yeah, yeah. Whatever you think might Even be Lauren. in your favor. Everyone, mm. everyone who's going to put on gloves and fight another person, just I'm not. I'm not for one second. Look at that. Tell them, Dan. I'm not for one second suggesting that that Devin Haney didn't take him seriously, but I think when everyone expects you to win and you expect you to, to win, win, yeah, yeah, there is maybe a tiny degree of complacency that can inevitably just set in. Boom. I don't think. 
And, and I'm not. Maybe he wasn't a never. Maybe it wasn't complacency. But whatever it was, underestimated. The man. whole world expected Devin Haney to win that fight, at least on points. At least. So I'm on just points. saying, just learn. You can't always learn from other people's mistakes. Mm. But if if you can, that's the one to learn from. Mm. Upsets do happen. Mm. Don't let it happen to you. Facts. That's my advice. Even in life. That's it. That's it. Yeah, even a lot. That's it. Coventry City almost pulled off an upset against United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for VAR. <laughs> so it's just it just happens. Upset is a is a it's a big thing in boxing. It's big exactly. Thing in sport, man. And it's good. you know, it's good. There's always something changing somewhere. The dynamic changes. So let's talk about that. Look at that segue. Netflix. Yes. Let's talk Netflix. <sighs> they have <laughs> just entered boxing. Um, upset and I'm not a bit it, it could be an upset or a robbery or a robbery yeah it's crazy um, I'm not a huge fan of exhibition fights and I know they've got a serious fight which is Taylor Serrano yeah but I'm more talking about the one that everyone's going to be talking about which is Jake Paul and Mike Tyson yeah and I hate the fight it's, it's yeah it's, I hate it I hate it but I get it I, I get I, it I get it on a on a Yes, views, on the money, views standpoint, yeah. uh, entertainment, blah, 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 like blah. When blah. you said like exhibition, if there's certain fights, like who did, um, it was Mike Tyson versus uh, Junior, Roy Jones Junior. Yes. Like obviously, yes, yeah, exactly. Two yeah. legends fighting. If it was Holyfield versus Lewis, exactly. we get it. We don't yeah. really want to see it, but we get it. But when you see someone like Logan Paul fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah, but it's, a, it's an audience. It and is this an is audience. the thing, and Netflix already has a huge audience. Um, but you know and what? This, it, and this will add to it. And this is, this is the thing. Sports used to belong on sports channels at all times. Yes. But now you get major players coming in now and giving it a go. Trying to take the viewership. That's it. Let's see Let's see what we can gain from it. Mm -hmm. Now, that fight is obviously going to do very good numbers. Big numbers. But do you know why I don't like it? Probably not just because, oh, it's, he shouldn't be fighting him. I think Mike Tyson is less of a threat to, to Jake Paul than Jake Paul is to Mike Tyson at this stage. Yeah, 100%. Okay, but most people are saying, oh no, watch when Mike Tyson lands his big yeah, shot. But, yeah, I understand. I hear that, Yeah, but, but Mike Tyson is 60 years old. I this say he's is, an old man. This isn't Mike Tyson anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. As in, this is Michael. Ooh. You what? sure you don't have an agenda here? I just realized you with Mike Tyson. No, don't do that. Are you sure? Don't do that. No, I'm saying I rate and love Mike Tyson, but I'm saying, 60 year old Mike Tyson versus a fit. I was local probably like early, late 20s, early 20s, yeah, if that exactly. mid 20s, like whatever he is. Yeah. It's young. He's he is he is uh in his physical prime, prime, yeah, yeah his physical prime. And and he's had a and few Mike fights Tyson as well. probably probably passed his physical prime 30 odd years ago, 100%. Man. So <laughs> I just see it as I quite, still want to fight him though. It's, it's quite no, I wouldn't give no, <laughs> I still want to fight no, Mike Tyson. But that being no, said, no. yeah, yeah, I'm not I fighting. I him. give it to a local pool for even try even going. It's not Logan, it's Jake. I'll give Jake, it to either of them. Even one of them. I give it to, to, to Jake Paul for even going there to fight Mike Tyson, but I just don't like the fact that he could potentially knock out a legend. Yeah. And I don't, and not you though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you to even really fight Mike Tyson? I get it, views. He's the money. big guy. He No, I this is it. the thing. It is what it is. He's one um, of the, the biggest YouTubers in the world. I get it. Him and his brother, I get it. But come on, there's, there's, a, there's a, for me, there's a level of respect. No. There is for me. Money. There's money. respect, man. You can fight anyone. Who? Go fight Mayweather. He'll, he'll his brother already did that. Maybe we're probably fighting no. now then. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe that was the offer, but Tyson makes enough. Tyson makes too much sense. Uh, I don't know. But and you're picking on me. You're you're picking an old man. Go fight Klitschko. I would like to know how. Go on. Go fight another I, retired heavyweight. Go fight Klitschko. Mate, that's a giant. <laughs> Okay, okay. Look, I'm with you. I I'm with you. I just don't like it. I feel yeah, yeah, I don't like Michael it Michael could defend himself. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not, you're not picking on Mike Tyson. I just don't like, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like yeah. it. I don't, like don't want to see, I listen, I'm, anyway, I've heard there are um, numerous stipulations in that contract. What was it? Uh, in between, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's in between it? rounds, uh, I've heard um, Jake Paul has to do 50 press ups. Now I'm joking. Oh, I haven't okay, heard okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> What's the ounce gloves like? 20 ounce I gloves. Hope so. I hope so. Whatever yeah. it is, I just want to see them both get out of the ring kind of safe. More so Mike Tyson, Tyson because yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm not going to say he is a vulnerable. I'm not going to start doing that. But at 60 years of age, you're more vulnerable than you are at 30. I have to be very careful with my words here. 
but you don't because he's gonna beat me up. You don't want to land a shot from. You don't want a shot from Mike Tyson. No, of course though, you don't. Regardless, if power's the last one to go, man. <laughs> power's the last. Because I've go. seen him train. We've all seen him train, and he's still got it. Yeah, to some it's degree, true. he's it's still true. got it's it. True. He's still it's got true. it. So, and he's still got that instinct when he's in the ring. I just want to, you know, get in there with their heart out. <laughs> and Logan Paul, <laughs> you're in big trouble. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's where we will end it. Um, yeah, listen, May 11th, buy the tickets. June 15th, buy the tickets. We've got another show coming up just behind that. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Buy those tickets as well. <laughs> um, anything else you want to get off of Jess? I feel like we've covered pretty much everything we've there covered, is Yeah, cover. we've covered quite a lot, actually, to be fair. No. Um, we'll be back next Arsenal. week. Hopefully, we'll have a guest of us. Hopefully. Um, and Arsenal's in the top of the league. There you go. Say goodbye, Mars. Bye, people. Bye.